Hi lovely, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Messi. So in the past, I made a video of how to make a tooth bag that has a lining and an inner pocket. So someone asked, what if you want to add a zipper? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tooth bag that has a zipper, an inner pocket and a lining. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's dive into the video. So this is the fabric i'm working with i've cut out two pieces of each lining as well so the length is 15 inches and the width is 13. so two pieces of fabric and two pieces of lining 15 inches length and width 13 inches all right so this is going to be the handle of the tooth bag the handle measures 25 inches and 3 inches by the weight again make use of any length and width you want so set that aside and this other piece is the inner pocket we'll be working with all right so i've got the width to be 10 inches and then the length is 7 inches again make use of any length and width of your choice now i'm going to grab one piece of the lining all right i fold it into half this way okay because i just want to determine the midpoint i'm going to make that crease at the middle right because i want to determine the midpoint so this is the crease i don't know if that is visible enough i grab my chalk better steel to make it more visible to the camera all right now i'm going to mark three inches apart from the midpoint this is where we are going to place the handle the wind was so much as i was recording this video outside that's why the fabric is flying up so three inches apart and then from the top i measured four inches downwards this is where we're going to place the inner pocket okay so three inches apart on both sides and then four inches so this part i'm going to fold it this way okay just fold the top part like that pin it down i pin it down that way and after pinning it down i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew that part okay just sew it there okay so i'll place it this way on that four inches mark we made i'll place it like that on the lining okay make sure i place it there all right so that's going to be the inner pocket and i'll fold it over this way i take it to my sewing machine i'm going to start sewing i'll sew on that part and then at the bottom part fold the rough edge in and then on the left side fold it in so i'm going to sew one two three all right leaving the top open that way all right i take this to the sewing machine i've sewn it can you see what it looks like this is what the back looks like all right and this is the front so this is how wide it is it can fit in your mobile phone okay so that aside and now we are going to work on the handle fold it into half take it to my sewing machine and run a straight stitch i'll do it to this other piece as well take it to my sewing machine and run a straight stitch from top to down i've sewn this now and this is what we have can you see that i go ahead and grab my safety pin i'm now going to turn this piece to the right side with my safety pin I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away After turning this, this is how it looks like I'll now go ahead and take this to my eye and make sure that the seam is facing upwards, okay? I just did this way The seam was faced upwards, alright? It's not a must anyway So take it to the iron and iron it down i've done that now this is how it looks like it's so flat and nice can you see the handle absolutely beautiful all right so this is our zipper the zipper is 15 inches by the length okay remember our width is 13 so the zipper is 15 inches okay so that's the zipper 15 okay right now I'm going to grab this piece. So this is the lining, yeah? And this is the front side of the lining. So face the front side of the lining to the front side of the main piece, okay? So front side facing front side. 
all right so that way i went ahead to extend that three inches mark we made and make it more visible so i place it this way right side facing right side and i'll grab my zipper now making sure that my zipper is facing the right side of the main piece of fabric that's the main body yeah place it that way i'll adjust my zipper properly okay so and then i'll make sure that the right side of the handle is facing the main body so the seam on the handle needs to face the lining so i pin the handle down that way where we marked the three inches line so i'm placing the handle now can you see that so i place it that way and pin it down okay so when i cover it this is what it looks like i i line it properly cover it down so we have the lining the zipper the handle and then the main fabric okay so i'm going to hold that tight at that point where we place the handle hold it tight remove the pin and then pin all four of them together with the same pin i'll do that to the other side i hold it down very firm because i don't want it to move take off the pin and then use the pin again to pin all of them together so this is what we have now i grab one pin again use it to pin at the middle all right so when we go ahead and say this is what we will have okay so i'll now go ahead and take this to the sewing machine and run a stitch with half of an inch okay so this is what it will look like after we must have sewn it remember the same on the wrong side needs to face the lining okay so that is it on that so 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 from end to end so before we sew i realized i didn't leave extra inch on the handle before we sew all right so what i did is i grabbed my tape measure and measured one inch downwards okay this allowance as we progress i will show you i'll let you know why we left it that way so place it back and then i'm pin it down i will do the same thing to the other side okay measure one inch downwards mark one inch all right mark it that way and then place it from the beginning right place it down again and then i grab my pin and pin it down now take it to the sewing machine and sew end to end after saying that this is what we have can you see that okay so this is it this is what the back side looks like so when you open it up this is what we have all right remember i told you the same on the handle needs to face the lining can you see how it turned out absolutely beautiful look at the same side is underneath can you see that so this is it all right when you open it up this is what we have this is the inside this is the pocket absolutely beautiful all right now we're going to do the same thing on this other side okay so when i place it like this i grab the lining and place just repeat the same thing we've done on the other bit so i just marked out the three inches we measured that's the three inches apart from the middle all right remember everything has to align you place the fabric right side to right side i lay it down the zipper that way all right now grab my lining and place it like that make sure everything matches together okay so place it that way i'm just making sure that i align everything properly there's a three inches mark everything on point that way and i grab my safety pin and pin it down I'll do the same thing to the other side pin it down as well so this is it now grab the handle okay remember the right side must face the fabric and then the side which we have the same face the lining okay 
so this is the right side now place it that way make sure it is directly on the three inches mark we made earlier so i'm aligning it together all right so what i did here basically was to repeat the same thing measure one inch upwards on the handle so i'm marking it now sorry i didn't know my what i was doing was off the camera so i mark it that way and then place everything together pin it down with my pin i repeat the same thing on the other side so i measured it again three one inch measured one inch place it that way here yeah? so i turned it to be easier for me because it was underneath before so i just flipped it the other side and then still maintained it hold it firm attach it the right side must face the main fabric so place it down again pin it down now everything has been pinned down laid down perfectly so next thing now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew okay when you open it up this is what it should look like this is what we should have can you see this is the part we're going to sew now still got the pinging on them and when i close it this is what we are going to have can you see the handle let's just take this to the sewing machine and run this stitch after sewing it this is what it looks like can you see that this is what we have so this is what the inside will look like can you see that beautiful flip it this is it this is the inner side so this is what the outer part looks like can you see the zipper and how beautiful the handle is placed you open it up this is what we are going to have all right so i'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and top stitch it okay so open it up that way take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch end to end just a tiny little top stitch all the way down and on the one inch mark we left earlier i'm going to sew it like sort of a square to make the handle more firm all right now i've taken it to my sewing machine i'm making a top stitch so this is the point where we left that extra one inch so what i'm doing with it i'm sewing it like sort of a box or a square so you can see what i'm doing this is to make the handle more firm so i'm going to do this on all four points where we have the extra one inch all right so i'm sewing it i'm doing the top stitch once i get to that point i will run this sort of stitch on that one inch extra that we left all right i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey Can you see what it looks like? So this is what it looks like on the handle I'm going to continue my stop stitching now, alright? I'll do the same thing on this other point, okay? I did this on all four points where we left the extra one inch That's where the handle is, alright? All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that. So, after making the top stitch, this is what we have. This is what it looks like, okay? Now, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine to close it up. Make sure you open the zipper this way so that you'll be able to turn it to the right side after sewing, okay? So, I'm going to fold it over this way main fabric to main fabric right side to right side and then lining to lining that way so i pin everything down okay pin it all down then i'm going to leave about two inches on sewed this is where we are going to turn this to the right side going to start sewing now start sewing from this point all the way 
all the way down to this point please leave two inches open and then leave the zipper open before you start sewing it from this opening we left i'm going to turn it to the right side remember we left the zipper open so please don't forget so turn it to the right side adjust everything nicely i just used my scissors to poke out the end now go ahead and close this opening fold the rough edges in take it to the sewing machine and sew i've sewn that now this is what we have can you see how beautiful everything is looking so fold that over in everything nicely folded okay adjust everything nicely okay so the bag is ready this is what we have this is the zipper inner pocket everything is on point so thank you so much for watching this video if you totally enjoyed this video leave me a thumbs up and then let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you are the one who requested for this video please let me know in the comment section leave me a comment so that i know you saw the video thank you so much and subscribe to the channel subscription is absolutely free i'll see you in my next one bye